Hello everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know and to book a private session with me. All that info can be found in the description box below of this video. This is Taurus versus Pisces. Let's get started. Spirit, please talk to me about what's going on with Pisces right now. And then we're gonna take a look at how Taurus and Pisces feel about each other, okay? So talk to me about Pisces. What's going on with water sign Pisces, please? Talk to me about Pisces at this time. All right, so the first card coming out here, the King of Cups. This is Pisces energy, Cancer and Scorpio. Tell me more about the King of Cups coming out here for what's going on with Pisces. Talk to me about the King of Cups. What are you trying to say, Spirit? What are you trying to say? The Chariot. Cancer energy. So it's like there's a move coming up or somebody moved away. There's also some travel that could be taking place. You know, I feel that Pisces has their mind on some type of important decision, a move, okay? Somebody's moving very quickly on something. I don't know what that is. It's like someone is running out of time. They could also be fixated on somebody who is leaving or has left. All right, with the chariot energy. Tell me more. Tell me more about the chariot. Who is on this chariot? Who is on this chariot? All right, there it is. All right, the queen of pentacles energy is on the chariot. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If it's not about a Taurus, right, because we're talking specifically about Pisces right now, there could be a major investment, a major purchase that Pisces is interested in making, okay, with that Queen of Pentacles energy. I feel like if this is about a relationship, then obviously somebody has left here and Pisces is still thinking about it or they could fear that someone is leaving or moving away or moving on, okay? With this Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy coming out there. Tell me more about how Pisces is feeling. Tell me more about how Pisces is feeling. We have this Nine of Pentacles coming out here. This is more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, right? You have the moon with Pisces energy coming out there. There's disappointment here. So there could be a feeling of loss. Somebody feels abandoned or feeling that they are missing an opportunity or that somebody just does not want to put up with them anymore. I feel like Pisces either wants to get on this chariot, all right, but I'm not sure if there's enough time. It seems like Pisces feels that they're running out of time when it comes to something. So it's like they have to act quickly. They have to act quickly on something, all right? It's on a move, on a person, on a situation, a money issue, something like that. Like Pisces does not have time to waste right now um, Pisces has been in their feelings about a situation that has to do with a move, okay? You know, I feel like Pisces is not moving quickly enough on something right now. And it's like Pisces has to hurry up. I don't know why I'm getting that here, okay? It could be something that has to do with finances or money in some way. Now let's take a look at how Pisces is feeling about Taurus. Talk to me about how Pisces is feeling about Taurus. Talk to me about how Pisces is feeling about Taurus here. 
you see like there's a move here i don't know who left or what it was that happened but you know i feel like somebody left so i'm wondering if taurus left okay or is taurus threatening to leave okay Keep in mind that these readings are specifically for Taurus and Pisces individuals that are intimately involved or that were at once involved with each other, right? So if you're not dealing with a Pisces, this would not be a reading for you. The first half of the portion would be, but not this portion. Now, with the Six of Swords to the Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like somebody left and they went and something got better for them as they left or someone is threatening to leave okay is what i'm getting here i don't know if um taurus has threatened pisces but that's the type of energy that i'm getting here tell me more about how pisces is feeling about this is crazy like the same energies came out for Scorpio versus Taurus, right? So yeah, I feel like Pisces is interested in what Taurus has going on, okay? With this Aries energy, it's like they want to take a risk or, you know, make some steps in Taurus's direction here. Tell me more. We have the Queen of Wands coming out here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the Hermit, Virgo energy coming out here. I feel like Pisces may be quiet about something or just like not really expressing something that they should say to Taurus. All right. It's like um, with the Hermit energy, it's time for them to say this to Taurus. I don't know what that may be, but someone has been very secluded. I feel like that is Pisces. Um, and it's like there needs to be more communication, right, with Taurus is what I'm getting at. Pisces is eager to communicate, but there's a problem, obviously, if the hermit is present. It's like somebody feels like they can't speak up about something. Talk to me about how Taurus is feeling about Pisces. How does Taurus feel when it comes to Pisces, please? How does Taurus feel? The Knight of Swords energy with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming out there. Tell me more. So Taurus could be in this energy of uh, being aggressive towards Pisces. Tell me more. We have the temperance, we have the two of cups. All right, so I feel like there's a lot of love that Taurus has for Pisces here with this ace of cups energy coming out here. I also feel like Taurus is willing to be patient or has been very patient with Pisces about something. We do have the two of cups energy, right? So the love is definitely here, okay? I feel like someone has turned their back. I feel that Taurus feels that Pisces has turned their back on Taurus. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like Taurus sometimes just doesn't know how to take Pisces. You know, it's like one day it's like this, next day it's like that. But Pisces is a mutable energy, uh, very comfortable switching it up. You know, that's how a Pisces is with that mutable energy. Taurus is a fixed sign. So it's like, you know, it's difficult to change a Taurus's mind. Whatever Taurus is going to think, you know, they're going to stay in that same narrative, whatever it is, until some actions are able to prove Taurus wrong. You know, I feel like Pisces is in this energy of wishing that things could be different. I'm not sure if I sense any action. I don't really sense action from Pisces in the way that Taurus wants to see it, in the way that's going to change Taurus's mind. But Taurus has been very patient here. I see that. And Taurus loves Pisces with that Two of Cups energy. Now, what is the outcome 
of this situation? What is the outcome of this situation, please, between Pisces and Taurus? The Ace of Wands. Okay, tell me more. What is the outcome? And the Ten of Cups energy. So I feel like if there can be a conversation or some type of mediation between you guys that everything's gonna work out. I feel like this is a situation that you both can work through and you have the potential of having everything you've ever wanted with each other, with that 10 of cups and the ace of wands, all right? It's like you both have this intensity, but there may be some miscommunications that are going on at the present moment between the both of you, but I feel like this can be resolved. All right, so that's what I have for Taurus and Pisces. I wanna thank you for watching and to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.